All right. Well, for our final project, we shot guns um, at targets. <laughs> so these were our hypotheses. Our no hypothesis was that the average of Chris, mine, and Dave's score would all be identical. And then the alternative was that Chris would be the best shooter, followed by me, followed by Dave. And we also compared two different types of guns, a bolt action of mine and a semi-automatic gun of Chris. The hypothesis was that those would be equal. The alternate was that the bolt action would be better, and we had an alternate point of light. All right, so we have some pictures. Um, that's Chris, shoot the gun. Oh, well, that, no. That's not, okay. Is that a picture of Chris, you know, loading? Reloading, actually. And then another picture for the shooting. Okay, okay, and that's Gabe. <laughs> yep. Good. More Gabe. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so here's the fun part. I'm doing the hard work, kind of. That's me. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> well, that didn't go that side. And, cool. and those are our targets that we shot. Yeah, on my picture. <laughs> <laughs> Target on his picture. This is Mr. Pettit. I asked him if, he could, if I could take his picture and he just. Literally, what he did. Okay, so this is our procedure. Okay, first we would just take a few practice shots with each gun to get accustomed to it, make sure that each person wasn't particularly experienced. Then we randomized who would shoot first and with which gun. We'd run out to the range and nail up a couple of targets, and then we'd start shooting. The one person would start shooting. Um, we each get 10 shots. Um, I forget what this one is again. Repeat with the other gun. Yeah, repeat with the other gun. Um, and then we'd go retrieve the targets, um, collect the data from the targets. Put them in the same place. Yeah. <coughs> And then repeat steps four through eight. So basically, each person would just shoot each gun, and we randomly decided who would be shooting and what gun. Okay, so for the scoring, to avoid any bias, no one graded their own paper. I graded half of Gabe's, half of Chris's. Chris graded half of Gabe's and half of mine, and Gabe graded half of Chris's and half of mine. Okay. And yeah, this minimizes any difference in scoring for if anyone had different interpretations. That's our target. Um, so the, or the rules were, you know, you can center that's 10 points and so on. If you didn't hit the target or you hit outside of the target in the white, then you got a zero. Just for that bullet, not for the whole round. Um, and then we would just add up the score from each target. Yep. And then if the target, if the bullet was on the line, you got the higher the two scores. <coughs> Uh, this was probably closer to sunset. This is the video really dark. Potential errors. 
Um, as we kept shooting, the sky got darker and it became harder to aim at the target. Um, sample size varied. Um, I had a gun backfire in my face. Uh, didn't feel the, um, the bullet doesn't eject properly, so the gun, the, um, the gases, instead of pushing the bullet, bullet forward, go backward. So he had a bunch of. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so that does not mean that the gun fired back. It didn't mean that the bullet just. No, no it just means stuff. Just. And, although we evenly distributed the target rating, some may have greater harder than others. We tried to minimize that, but there wasn't really any way to completely nullify that. Okay, so here's our raw data. Chris's average point per bullet was about 0 .105. So that means, on average, the any bullet would average in the outermost ring. Uh, mine was slightly worse, 0 .06. Gabe was much better. He averaged 0 .3485. And then the average for the bolt action, 22, was 0 .275. And for the semi-automatic, was 0 .207. Right. So, our conclusion. Um, can I handle this one? Sure. So, for our null hypothesis that we were all equal, obviously that was very, very off. For the uh, hypothesis that Chris is better than me, that was true, rejected the false the null hypothesis. For me being better than Gabe, that was completely false. And if you flip it the other way around, the p value is something really, really tiny, because Gabe's score was a lot better than mine. And then for Chris being better than Gabe, that was also false. But if you were to say that Gabe was better than individual comparisons, are true. And then, unfortunately, the comparison between the bolt action and the semi-automatic did not reach statistical significance. But the bolt action did have a better average. We just can't legitimately say that. So pretty much I'm a boss of shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm